guys, Shaber 1000 here. I've got this envelope, came in the mail today, and I've got my cracked screen protector. So I think you know what's coming next. Stay tuned, let's see if we can get this on here ourselves. Okay guys, you may remember when I was working on my scooter, it's been a while back, but this is what happened to the phone. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Fucking great. Now, I haven't gotten one since then. I should have. I don't think the screen is broke. I think just the protector. Uh, these things are a pain in the ass. I've done them before. But let's go ahead and we're going to open this up. I got two of them in here, so let's go ahead and get this and bring my knife in. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to, how well this is going to work because of my shaky hands now but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot here we've got wipes wet and dry let's make sure this is the right Okay, that looks like it. Looks like everything lines up. Um, okay, I'm, I'm supposed to have two of these in here. But, oh well. Uh, I'll have to get a hold of them. Because again, I paid for two. You know, one was like $8, two was like 13 So, I'm going to read up on this and make sure it was just like the last time. I believe once we take the old the old glass off of here we wipe it down with a wet wipe and then we use the dry wipe on it but I'm gonna read this up and make sure and then I'll be right back with you guys okay so the first thing we've got to do is we got to peel this off which shouldn't be too hard like I said hopefully the screen itself is not cracked I haven't had any issues with it other than the crack protector um, any other time this likes to start peeling off on its own I gotta put it back down but and it's supposed to be bubble proof but again I was supposed to get two and I only got one I paid extra to have one at hand Because I was going to have them do it at the store. They charge like 20 bucks for these things. And to put it on. But the problem was they didn't have any. So let's get our wet wipe out here. It says wet but it doesn't feel wet. It feels dry. I may have to go get my own wipes. But you want to get all this old stuff off of here all the way around the edges try not to push too hard on this because you don't want to break the screen I may have to go get my own alcohol wipe that's all these are is alcohol wipes and as you can see they're still like around the edge you know it was losing its It's stickiness or whatever you want to call it, adhesion. Thought that was a crack, but I guess it's not. So I'm going to get this all cleaned off and I'll be back with you and we're going to stick the new one on. Okay guys, we've got it all cleaned off. Uh, like I said, this wet wipe was not wet, it was totally dry. So mom gave me a couple of these. 
Just use alcohol swab on it. <clears throat> now, we're going to put this on. This is the tedious part here. What we're going to do is, we have to peel this back off of here. Okay, and this will peel that film, film off. And we got to try not to get our fingerprints on it. And we're going to have to try to lay it down like that, right on there. So let me get this at an angle up here, where I can see it better, hopefully. At least enough to get it started. So what you're going to do, is you're just going to peel this off. Just like that. Like I said, try not to get, I should be wearing gloves, but I'm not, so let me get above you here. Because once this sticks down on here, it's done. Okay, that's pretty good. I can see it, it's a little different style, but it's, it fits all different kinds of phones. And then you want to get all these bubbles out, take it to the edge. See, these are bubbles in here. You're going to want to work with that. If you can, get it to the edge. Get that bubble out of there. Get that to stick on there nice and neat. Then we're going to clean it all off. Supposed to be no bubbles, but I see a bubble. So I'm going to keep working with this until I get all the bubbles out of it. And once I do, say there it goes. Hey, you can press a little bit on these, but you don't want to press too hard. See that one came out. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And it's coming back. A lot of times I'll just hold them on for a second. So I'm going to keep working with this, and I'll clean it off, and I'll bring it back to you. Okay, guys, so I got it somewhat clean. Uh, there's some blemishes. I think there's a little piece of dirt down here, right there, and right there, which is probably probably my fault, because I didn't see it on there before I put the protector on there, so something could have blew up onto it. Um, but it says, no bubbles guarantee bubble free well that's wrong and um, anti fingerprint really watch this what is that it's a fucking fingerprint say that plain as day it's a fingerprint so you start going like this look at all the fingerprints on it already I mean how can glass be anti fingerprint um, <clears throat> glass screen protector pro well I'm not impressed because number one like I said I paid for two I got one that's not fair you know so I gotta get a hold of them again yes that does piss me off you guys have seen that before I'm sure but that's not right you know you pay extra for another one where is it they don't give it to you it's not in here you know so I'll have to get a hold of them and tell them, you know, they need to send me another one or take some money off. I don't mind paying for my stuff, but dang. So let's go ahead and boot this up. Uh, there's a couple blemishes up there that didn't want to stick. And I know that's not my fingerprint fault because, you know, you guys saw me. I put it down on and then stuck it on. The dirt spot down there at the bottom, I think, may be my fault, but <clears throat> anti-bubble, no. It's not anti-bubble. It's not anti-fingerprint, you know, so. But at least it's going to protect my screen so that don't happen again, so. <clears throat> I mean, you can't see it once it's turned on down there, so. So, yeah, I'm booting up now. This is my weather thing. It's 81 degrees right now. Let's click on that. And today, it's going to be. Come on. Oh, I'm on Wi Fi, that's why. 
uh, monkey sent me stuff it's going to be a high of 91 today real feel is going to be 102 and it's going to be a real feel of 95 in the shade so there you guys go so it's real it's real easy if you got a steady hand like I said I don't have a steady hand this doesn't seem to be as flat as it used to be this phone was probably two and a half years old so you know I just use it out in the garage I do have one of these rubber pieces they help too but I kept it off because I'm going to clean it um, it just goes in there like that so there you go guys uh, Okay guys, I did forget to mention that the screen protector came in almost a week and a half early, so that's a plus. Uh, the only real complaint I have is that they didn't send me two that I paid for two. Um, so, that's really, you know, the alcohol thing, you should always have them around. Anyhow, that stuff, you know, will dry out eventually, so that's no big deal. Don't care about that. But that's my that's my main complaint is that it didn't um, they didn't send me both of them. Um, that's how you put a screen protector on. Fairly easy. Um, you clean it and you be real careful and stick it on. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. That being said, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, a legend. Like I said, once this is turned on, you don't see that down there. But it still bugs me, you know. Just like up there, it bugs me. Yeah, okay. But, alright guys. Shea Bear, the Myth Man of Legend, gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified of more awesome videos. Alright, we'll chat at you guys soon. Bye bye now. Take care.